Hi, this is Nicole with Cut and Edge Crafts. Today I wanted to show you how to add a shadow layer to your text, as well as avoid some of the problems that I have seen come up when doing this. I especially wanted to show you how to check that everything has been joined properly so that it imports correctly into Design Space or any other electronic cutting machine software that you may be working with. Jumping right in, I'm going to start by selecting my text tool. I'm going to center my text for this tutorial just so I can center it on the screen for you easily, but you can have your text justified however you want. Now I'm going to enter some text and then select all of the letters so that I can choose a different font. I'm going to be working with the script text that has overlapping characters because I want to make sure and cover a few issues I have seen people have when they are working with fonts that overlap. Once I have changed the font to something I like, I'm going to edit my fill in stroke so that I can show you what problems to look for. I'm going to turn my stroke on, it doesn't matter what color, and change my fill to something different than my stroke. In this case, I am changing the fill color to red. I want you to notice that the E and both L's have an outline that overlaps the next letter. This is important because if you cut this out with your machine, it's going to cut anywhere you see a black line. This is not what we want, so we're basically going to weld the letters together to get rid of these lines. To do this, start by opening your path tab and then selecting Combine. This step takes all of the letters and combines them into a single path object, but you will notice that the letters still overlap. You should also note that the path is part of a group. You can see this at the bottom of your screen when the path is selected. We need to fix both of these things. To do this, hit escape until everything is deselected and then reselect your text. Again, notice that it says that you have selected a group. Now you need to right click on your text and select ungroup from the pop-up menu. At this point, you can double check to see that your text is no longer in a group. It should say that it is a path with nodes. Now with the text still selected, go back to your path tab and select Union. You will see that the overlapped areas disappear and we are ready to add the shadow. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and turn the stroke back off. We don't need it on for the next couple of steps. Now you are going to want to select your text again and make a copy of it by copying the text and then pasting it anywhere on your screen. Then you need to change the color of your text to whatever color you want the shadow layer to be. After you have changed the fill color, you need to center both pieces of text with each other by selecting both pieces and then opening the alignment window and clicking to center them horizontally and vertically. Your shadow layer will be in front. Select your shadow layer and then select Dynamic Offset from your Path tab. This will give you a little node that you can drag out until the shadow is the right thickness. Once you have it about right, you need to move your shadow layer underneath the main layer. To do this, with your shadow layer selected, click your selection tool and then select lower selection to bottom from the toolbar at the top of your screen. If you need to adjust the thickness of your shadow, you can do that now. Mine came out about right, so I'm going to select the shadow layer again and then select object to path from the path tab. At this point, it's a good idea to check the bottom of your screen to make sure that all of your text objects are paths and that you don't have any groups left in your drawing. That's it. You're ready to save your drawing and import it into Design Space. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you thought about this tutorial in the comments, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you'll know when I release new videos. You can also follow me on Facebook or find my blog at CuttingEdgeCrafts.com. I have both of them linked in the description.